um, this is Kingdom View of Relationship and Marriage series. Kingdom View of Relationship and Marriage. Um, that's you know that sister with a good voice may know how you know. Okay, <clears throat> that sister with a good voice may not know how to cook. So, in that case, as a husband, you may love her before the audience and dislike her in the kitchen. That brother who speaks fluently and powerfully may be a type that snores at night. So, in that case, as a wife, you may love him on the altar but dislike him on the bed. Ask yourself, what did I marry? Is it the skills? And the qualities or the personality know how to decide and how to choose if your reason for marriage is wrong then you are wrong before you say yes to a sexual offer remember the unborn children that will suffer now running away with another person's husband or wife does not make you married it only shows that you are terribly single. Living together as a married couple without marriage will still make you a single, no matter the numbers of times you have had sex together. So don't 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 convert another person's husband. Don't convert another person's wife. Find your own. Don't let sex make you a mother until genuine love makes you a married a, a, a wife don't let sex makes you don't, don't let sex make you a a mother before genuine love makes you a wife pregnancy is glorious in marriage not before marriage um don't be a wife that won't work a virtuous woman is not a burden she is a bundle of blessing. So don't be those kind of wives that will just stay at home and they will not do any work. No. A, a, a virtuous woman is, is a bundle of blessings and not a body. Sex is honorable when it is done rightly. Nobody can ever penalize a married man for impregnating his wife. And nobody can penalize the wife for being pregnant. Some men abandon their beautiful wife, the mother of their children, and leave them to suffer. They make them become single mothers. They are not together and they are not dead. I wonder what the man was thinking before proposing to the woman in the first place. Don't start what you will not finish. It's important to know that as a child who knows right from wrong if you are present and in your presence your parents are still doing all the work and you come out claiming to be a big boy or a big girl hmm. that is not fair hope you know that it is better to be good than to be big for nothing be useful you can't be around and your parents are still the one doing all the work. Let them feel your presence. Be, be useful. Be, be hardworking. Do most of those things. Let them know you are around. The marriage between Nebal and Abigail was, <laughs> was a wrong one. One was godly while the other was not. Even a wicked man will still hope to marry <laughs> a nice woman. The way of those who will not be a blessing to you. Anyone who is not a blessing is a curse. To retain and sustain your identity, you must choose right. 1 Samuel 25 verse 3 um, Every prepared female must be in the best position God expects them to be by positioning themselves in the light of God's word. Why the female... Okay, why the male also must seek must seek as they are led by God. 
physical attractions are good but they are not enough to choose a marital partner now in marriage humility to the female is not optional because god expect her to submit to her head you can only choose the kind of head you submit to but submission to the head you have chosen is a must the ranking order in marriage includes the following you know woman that is the one who submits to the husband then husband the one who submits to christ now this is the summary for this ranking the man is the head of the woman and christ is the head of the man whenever a man sees a woman submitting to him he must also remember that he has someone above him to submit to that's how marriage works if the man fails to see christ as the one he is to submit to you will have issues submitting to such a person because you will discover that your submission will not be valuable so as as the husband submits to christ then christ will teach the husband how to make your own submission to him valuable can you see that before you say yes please consider the following questions is he a born again can i love him and will he love me what vision does he have what is his own definition of marriage what is his own definition for love you must understand all these things before you say yes it's very important many people who are loved by god are misusing the opportunity they are misusing the opportunity god is giving god is giving to them because of their flamboyancy you know that brother is god's will for you you know he has the fear of god but you are insisting that until he agrees to spend nothing less than 10 million on your wedding you won't marry him you don't even care living in a rented apartment after wedding all you need is a ceremony that will shake the town you want to invite everybody copy copy every you know copy everybody and advert you know and advertise yourself is that really necessary you even know you even told him that after your wedding you want both of you to travel to another country because your present country seems boring to you my advice to you is this you better wake from this dream of yours before you miss it in marriage worldliness profits nothing so if you are a female and you are too flamboyant then you may miss the will of god i pray that will not be your case in jesus name now it is true that you are a hard-working man oh yes you are a good woman but you need to teach your children you are not a good you know you are not a good cook if your children cannot cook it looks simple and irrelevant but it's important you are not hardworking if your children are lazy having a house help someone who will help in housework may not be bad but the problem is when you make your children do nothing and you make others do everything the more you take little household responsibilities away from your children the more useless they become no wonder even some females cannot cook isn't this terrible i know the males may feel relieved but the truth is both male and female should be able to cook if as a child you enjoy running away from household works or you have someone who does everything for you hmm, this is my advice never run from things you cannot but end up doing if you escape it now then <laughs> you won't escape it in the future there are some things you can escape now but <laughs> you can't escape them in the future god god becomes your father-in-law when you choose to marry a man who is working in purpose remember purpose cannot be discovered outside of god genesis 2 18 marriage processing occurs immediately immediately he brought her 
to him. Since God knew that Adam can't marry an angel, he gave him the best of his will. Genesis 2 verse 22. Creating avenue for sexual activities before marriage is not called dating. It is simply called fornication. The Bible strictly warns that we flee from fornication. If before marriage you are a Christian, then after marriage still continue to be. If before marriage you have been working in purpose, then after marriage you should still be focused in purpose. If before marriage your life is profitable to God, then after marriage you must still remain fruitful in God's vineyard. Marriage is not a disaster. It is supposed to be a blessing. Genesis 2 verse 23. Um, the best of every woman can only be seen in marriage. To the singles, you must know that the best is yet to come. Every woman is made from a man and their best is hidden and revealed in marriage. As they partner faithfully with the man the Lord has given to them. The next worst thing after hell is a wrong marriage. The next worst thing after hell is a wrong marriage. If you know you cannot cope with the person you are planning to marry, you better separate yourself now because after marriage it will be too late. If before marriage it beats you up like a punching bag, she slaps you easily when she is angry. <laughs> Think before you go into marriage with people like this. If you end up marrying the wrong person, then you may have to carry a wrong picture all through your life. As a single, you still have the opportunity to choose wisely. Marriage can be irreversible. You know, marriage can be an irreversible reaction. So don't cage yourself. You still have the time to choose as a single. You are ready for marriage when it is no longer good for you to be alone. Remember Adam. You know, remember Adam got married when God revealed, you know, when God discovered it was no longer good for him to be alone. When it comes to marriage, babes are not invited. It is strictly for matured minds. It is not just who will I marry. The right question should be, Lord, is it no longer good for me to be alone? If it is good for you to be alone, then stay alone. It is that moment where God can say it is no longer good for you to be alone that you need a partner. 